Today we're meeting with my boy Rob from Aviano Aerial Photography. You might have seen him in some of my videos. We actually did our maiden flight together with the DJI Avada. Now, not only does he have his own aerial photography company, he also works for one of the local fire departments out in Long Island, in which he has incorporated droning in some of the emergency services. Now, today on his day off, we actually found some abandoned buildings in which he'll be practicing like search and rescue type scenarios with the DJI Avada, and I will be attempting to follow him. Let's get into it. You guys rip and zip and I fly slow and low. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing more for tactical purposes, you know, if there's a collapse or something like that and we need to search or if there's a second, if there's a collapse on a two-story structure yeah. and you can't really walk this, the second floor, you can fly the Avada in. Right. Um, I, I used my FPV for that, the DJI FPV, and it didn't go so well. So, <laughs> so, this, this, so is a better option. this is a much better option. Yeah, much more stable. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. We actually flew a couple of batteries, but since my last video was so long, I figured I wouldn't drag it out. But I do fly with Rob occasionally, so if you enjoyed that, hit me up in the comments. We can actually do an extended version of his search and rescue practice in another video. With that said, I am out of here for now. Peace. If you made it this far, I have like a little added bonus. Um, 
you know, with the new remote ID issue with the DJI Avada, um, you know, everybody's up in the raw and, and online. They don't like it or what have you. But there was a hack that was um, mentioned in a few videos that if you just disconnect after you in the air, you're fine. You just get a remote ID error in the goggles. Now, there's another hack. Now, if you turn on your goggles, your controller, and turn on the drone, and arm your drone before it catches satellite before you get any gps signal you're good you won't get the remote id error and you can fly around you can do whatever you want um you guys could try it out since i was flying this drone right now it's like i don't know how long it will take to to get a hard reset but this drone right now grabs satellite fairly quickly since I was just flying it so even if I you know I had it off right now I can make an attempt to do it but you have to kind of it's kind of tricky you guys out there you could try it hit me up in the comments tell me how how it works for you but if you could arm it before you get GPS signal you don't even have to connect and disconnect and all that other stuff that you've seen online so I'm gonna try to matter of fact let me Turn on the drone and let me try to arm it real quick and see if I can catch it before it gets satellite. Nah, I think it got satellite already. No. I already got six satellites, so it didn't work. But anyway, you guys try it. Let me know if it works. I've seen it and it works, but uh, you guys try it out because right now this is not gonna work, and I'm not gonna. I'm done for the day. I'm going home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out of here for now. Peace.